hey what's going on everybody all right so this time around and this is this looks pretty simple but uh i just wanted to show some basic array mesh functionality but i wanted to start by saying that uh not everything i show is going to be something that i necessarily stumbled upon i mean there's so much stuff in zbrush how could i stumble on all of it so some of this stuff is going to be some stuff that i've seen uh maybe within a longer presentation like for instance, what I'm about to show with this array mesh, which sever with several of these uh, array mesh things that I want to show throughout a couple of videos, um, I saw some of them within you know longer, like two to three hour long uh, ZBrush Summit presentations or just workshops that maybe Paul Gabry or one of the other ZBrush uh, crew did, or you know just maybe a friend found it or. And, but the point is, I, I, if I can remember where I saw it, I'm going to always put the link in the uh, description of the video so you can jump to their video and check it out as well. But anyways, let's get into this. So um, basically, this is just a cool way to get equal on all sides of a rotational repeat. So if you're not familiar with array mesh, <clears throat> definitely check it out. It's just a way to repeat something so uh, and you can do you can do spiral staircases you could do all kinds of stuff so <laughs> this is a cool trick though um so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna jump back and turn array mesh off so that we have a single plane here all right and i'm gonna turn local symmetry off it doesn't really matter but i'm gonna show you how i got to where i got at this stage so what you're gonna see is i have four repeating all around and what's going to happen here is you know i can even turn local that's why i had local sim on is this is not in the world center and whatever i do to this you're going to see it's happening to all of them so this is a really cool way to create anything in a rotating pattern because i can crank this repeat up and you're going to see you know maybe i get something like that which is really cool if you wanted to make like a a gatlin gun or something rotating or any just anything that's in a circular pattern so uh let's go through the steps of how to do this um so let's say you come in here let's, let's reset everything you don't have any of this on this is array mesh by default okay actually i'm just gonna back through everything until it's back to square one all right so array mesh turn it on all right now you're gonna set the repeat to however many copies you want in addition to the one it's showing okay and then we're going to go to lock position, lock size. Okay. And you can even turn the transpose line on. What that's going to do is give you a visual of where the pivot point is for the array mesh. So, you know, if you have it up here, for instance, whoops, I didn't mean to drag that necessarily, but uh, let's step forward where I hit transpose. So if you move this yellow dot, the yellow circle so now my pivot point is up here and you know it wouldn't be equal around the world center in this case if i repeat four and did the same thing and rotated it on the z you're going to see it's rotating around right where that yellow dot is so what uh i did is put 360 in right here but it's not equal it's not even you see here so the trick is so transpose on just to visualize where your pivot point is. But the trick is lock position, lock size, reset. That's going to throw the pivot point to the world center. All right. And since we're facing X, well, we're actually facing Z, sorry, but we're looking as though we want to sculpt on X symmetry. So let's rotate it on the Z. Okay. And we're going to rotate it 360. And since this is the same on every side, you're, it's going to look like nothing happened. So now if we go back, though, and pull this up, you're going to see that. So let's let's step back a bit. Now, let's what, what if I repeat it five times? Now you're going to see, if I only repeat it four times, you're still not going to see any difference, okay? Because it's equal. But this is so cool because uh, I, I just love this trick because, you know, you can repeat it as many times as you want. I mean, up to 250, I suppose. 
I don't know why you would want that many, but you know, this is really a, a handy trick in my opinion. So I want to show some more practical ways in the, uh, uh, to use this or just some different ways that you could use this to actually create some cool stuff rather than just playing with the plane. But, um, you know, <laughs> this, this guy here is pretty ridiculous looking. Um, but you know, it's just something different and I'll step through that in, in a video after this one, uh, along with using an array mesh trick to do, uh, dual local symmetry. So there's a way to do that as well. And I use array mesh all the time. I think it's a great tool. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this and hopefully this helps. So that's it for this one. Just wanted to get the basic functionality there just to recap real quick. We'll go back through it. It's uh with anything just and just to show it's with anything. Let's do it with the star. So we'll go to the poly mesh, uh, array mesh on, okay. Lock position, lock size. You don't have to turn transpose on. You can if you want, if you want to visualize, but uh, reset. Okay, that's going to throw it to the center if it wasn't already. And then, you know, rotate it on the Z360 and set your repeats to however many you want to repeat. And then when you move this. Oh, I set the offset. That was my fault. So now when you, well, let's do it on the Z and, and you can do this after the fact, like you can pull it up and then do the rotate. It doesn't matter, but the, it's going to, as long as it's set to 360 here, it's going to be equal distances apart. If it's four, if you're repeating, you know, like equal, equal numbers, basically, if you do five, you're going to get kind of, you know, I'm sure at some point it starts to, but you can already see that this is, I mean, you can. Ooh, that's cool. Kaleidoscope effect. <laughs> that's actually really cool. Anyways, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. See you soon.